Hello everyone, in this video we would solve the practice problem named as the dice problem. First we would understand the concept and then we would move forward to the code part. So let's start. So today's problem is dice problem. So first let us understand the problem. So in this problem you are given a dice. Okay. You are given a dice and they are saying they would tell you a number. For example, they would tell you N is 2. This means right now in the front face you can see number 2. So what you need to do is you need to tell exactly opposite of 2 what is present. That means what is the number right now on the back side opposite of this value. So that means if it is 1, I need to tell if I can see 1 right now, what is the number on the other side, exactly opposite side of the dice. This is the problem that we need to solve. So for solving this, we would apply a small trick and that trick is, we would take a variable a equal to 7. Okay, we would just consider it and now what we would do is, we would say answer equal to now see I am being given n value right they are giving me the value of n for example they gave it to me 2 okay now I know n value is 2 and I have taken a to be 7 right so what I need to do is I just need to say a minus n would give me the value of the opposite side so this means if I do 7 minus 2 that gives me 5 so that means if I am right now viewing 2 on the front side, on the back side 5 is present. So this is the logic that we would apply. We would consider a value A equal to 7 and then we would just subtract the value of N from it and we would get our answer. So this is the concept using which we can solve this problem. So now let's do that. First let me clean the screen. And now guys, this is the problem. You are given a cubic dice with six faces. All the individual faces have numbers printed on them. The numbers are between 1 to 6. Like any ordinary dice, you will be provided with a face. That is the value of n of this cube. Your task is to guess the number on the opposite side, right? So this is our problem. So like I mentioned, we would declare a and then we would just use it. So first I am declaring a equal to 7 like I mentioned to you. Then in the next line I would say my answer is a minus the value of n. n is the value of the side that you would be given. Okay. Now I just need to return with the value of 1 minute. It should be return with the value of answer. Now I would just return with the value of answer but to be sure if it is correct or not first we would compile it and then we would submit it. So let me compile it. I am compiling it. It is getting compiled. See it has been compiled and my output is matching the expected output that means I have passed the first test case. Now let me click on submit to be sure of the answer. So let's wait. Let's give it some time. Okay, so see all the test cases are passed and my problem is successfully submitted. So this is the solution for the dice problem and I hope you have found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching it. Thank you.